How can Valve save Team Fortress 2? If you've played TF2 at any point in the last couple of years, you will know that there is a slight bot problem that has infected many, many TF2 games, making the game near unplayable for a lot of people. Now, obviously, the method to save TF2 from this menace is for Valve to step in and stop these bots making their way onto servers. However, that's much easier said than done. So that's what I assume Valve are focusing on when they dropped this tweet saying they were going to tackle the problem. So while they're doing that, they're also fixing bugs which have plagued TF2 for years now, which is a nice little step in the right direction, while uh, we assume they're working on the main issue at hand. I don't see why they wouldn't be, but you know, it's Valve, they, could, they work in mysterious ways. However, I don't feel that getting rid of bots should be the end of the safe TF2 journey. Without bots and new content, I do believe that TF2 could become a thriving online game once again. So that's what I'd like to discuss in this video. How can Valve actually save TF2? Now before we get into it, this video will probably be like a mostly audio only type of video. So if you want to have this on in the background while you do something else, that's completely fine. Um, let's, just, let's just jump into it. Now I do want to preface that this video is like a wish list video, not a list of demands. I know Valve probably aren't going to implement most of these things, but it's just a little way for me to get my wishes out of what I'd like to see TF2 become and see if other people agree with me or not. And also to hear your ideas of how you think they could save TF2 or what they could add to TF2 that you'd like to see. Now the first two things are obvious. They're already working on these, which are bug fixes and the bot removal process. But after that, there is much more that can be done with TF2 to ensure its survival. And with that survival comes shmoney for Valve's pockets. And we know Valve loves a bit of money. Especially you, Gabe. I know. I know what you're doing. I know your game. So I've looked at Valve's other games for inspiration as to where TF2 could go. Mostly looking at CSGO because one, I have experience in that game and I touch too much grass to play Dota. CSGO and TF2 are very similar games, especially after the gunmetal update, so I've really used that as a good blueprint of where TF2 could be taken to survive and thrive, perhaps. Now my first idea is the implementation of CSGO's operation system. I think operations could be a great way to reinvigorate the TF2 community, similar to obviously when an operation drops in CSGO or like a new season of Fortnite, you know, we get players coming back to see what's new, see what's popping and it boosts the play numbers for a bit. And I think this could be done using those community type updates we have seen proposed in the past. So like, we sometimes have community update projects such as the mine update or the frontline update. Um, now while these don't get approved by Valve to be get put in the game, they could be used as operation themes. So we could have the mine theme, which is technically Jungle Inferno, or the frontline theme, and you know, something like that. So similarly to the CSGO operations, they could include a cosmetic case, a war paint case, some new maps, and some contracts. You know, a nice little update package in the form of an operation. Now I think these would essentially um, become the major updates. So you, you wouldn't even have to call them operations, you could just call them the updates, but the, the blueprint of the updates would be similar to Jungle Inferno and CSGO operations, if that makes any sense. I'm not sure about weapons, but depending on the frequency of these operations, it could be a few new weapons per operation, similar to how they did with the Jungle Inferno. And it could also include a battle pass with that contract integration to make the whole contractor thing work a bit better. Because I do think the rewards shop on the contract is a bit silly when you can only get a certain amount of rewards and the other ones are just kind of shit, <laughs> to put it in a, in a, in a, in a good term. So yeah, I think if they introduced a battle pass, it might be a bit better, similar to how Fortnite rock their battle pass. But you know what? We, we shall see if they even decide to implement something like this. I just thought it would be a fun little idea. Um, so yeah, new maps, new weapons, new paints, new contracts, new cosmetics, and an animated announcement trailer similar to Jungle Inferno because the community loves those and they usually bang, which would be good to get more people interested in the in the new tf2 the tf new if you if you would <laughs> balancing balancing is a huge aspect of tf2 and something that they are still working on to this very day it's something which still needs to be worked on and with aforementioned new weapons that may be added to the game they will also need to be worked into the balance system 
Now there are members of the community who are and have worked on their own fixes which Valve could nab should they struggle to balance it themselves but I'm sure they'd be okay balancing themselves but hey Mastercom's fixes come to mind I know they've said they're not at Valve standard but it just shows a community member going out of their own way to uh, try and balance this game that Valve have just kind of thrown off a bridge. <laughs> so thank you Mastercoms, you're doing the Lord's work. The replay system. Now this is something we don't see talked about at all for TF2 anymore but personally I think that's a bit of a tragedy because the replay system is an amazing feature in a video game. I I, I'm a sucker for a photo mode or a replay system in any video game. You, you got one? Get me there, man. I love that stuff. It's not a major issue either because the replay system is okay and it's not widely used by the community at all. I know only a few YouTubers who actually use it and even then some of them use it sparingly. Um, however, I do love it and would like to see its usage expanded and made it more easy for people to get into. The replay program itself is fine, the UI is okay, it doesn't need much change, it gives you everything you could probably need for a replay system, but the export options are not it, and direct export to YouTube has been broken for a while now. <laughs> if the export options got an entire overhaul that would make the entire process much better and means you wouldn't have to export in weird qualities or whatever, I don't know if that's an issue a lot of people had, I just haven't been able to export a replay for a long time. So I feel like the whole, the whole system needs a bit of an overhaul and modernising a bit. I'd like to see this rolled out with replays being enabled on all official Valve servers and the return of the Replay Saxi Award which I'll come on to very shortly. But I do feel that because the replay system was something that Valve had a, a whole awards ceremony for at one point, it's weird that it's not enabled on all Valve servers. There's probably a reason for that, but I think it should be because the replay system is very fun to use and it's not like they have to record every person's game in every match you just you, you have the key to toggle it if you don't want to record you don't press the record button it's simple as that really uh, but yeah i'd like to see it implemented in all official valve servers because i love the replay system but it does need fixing the saxi awards yes the saxi awards man i'd miss them we haven't had an official saxi awards since 2017 and to be honest i do miss it we still get beautiful sfm videos but i just feel that if the saxi awards were still a thing my god we'd have the best competition we've seen in years i feel like community events like these will help reinvigorate the community especially the creative aspect and it wouldn't cost valve anything either apart from the promotional material which they wouldn't even have to really make because they already have previous years promotional material the quality jump we've seen in each saxi awards would be a great promotion for tf2 and the community as these videos normally end up doing massive views on YouTube, which in turn would be good for the game. Plus, I would really like to win a Saxi myself. I mean, come on, it's, it's, it's an item that's beautiful. But mostly, I just want to see Saxi's return because I really enjoyed that thing. And also add a replay Saxi in there just for the, the, the return of the replay system, you know? It'd be a good way to promote that. New MVM stuff. This is something I've been very vocal about. I love MVM. And after memes versus machines, I'm always left yearning for new missions with proper rewards so that I'm not stuck playing the same missions over and over again. I want new official Valve missions that can give you Australiums, new types of bot killers or whatever. I'm not fussed, I just want new MVM stuff. I envision new maps with unique bosses that we haven't seen yet and kind of a tweak or an upgrade to the, over to the upgrade system in uh, MVM at the moment. With some weapons getting unique updates um, that specifically help them. For example, minigun spin speed or movement speed while, sp while uh, deployed. This would also lead to meta changes to keep the game fresh, which is something I think MVM really needs because it's just you play this class, you use this weapon. If you use this weapon, uh, goodbye. Quality of life fixes. There are many little tweaks that TF2 could receive that would be nice to see um, and despite them only being small fixes, I do think it'd be, it'd be nice to have them, but there should not be a priority on getting these things fixed. The inventory system could do with a fix. The ability to dual click items in the crafting system is also something that we'd like because you just have to drag every single one when double clicking is much easier. Uh, a crafting system overhaul to make it viable again. New stranger fires and collector's kits because I just really want a strange sharpened volcano fragment but for some reason promotional items cannot be strange. 
and I think that is really stupid. MVM robot names fixed because I'm not sure if it's on everyone's game, but in my games they're just called TF bot. This, this, this doesn't even matter as a fix, but for quality of life, it would be nice. Uh, even more backpack slots because there's, I have so many fucking MVM parts, please. And new achievements to give people something to aim for. Yeah, I know these may be small updates and they don't affect a lot in the game in the grander scheme, but they're just things I'd like to see worked on really, you know. This is a wish list after all. Community updates keep the community content coming they are a very strong pillar of the tf2 community i have no complaints about the seasonal hat box but that's only if we received other content with that i know we get smismus i know we get scream fortress but we need more we need more content the hat box is okay but that's usually all we get it's no secret the community has hoisted tf2 on its back and carried it for years now i'd still like to see the community get that spotlight shone on them because they create beautiful content. So for that to get brought to the game every year because of the community would be lovely. I know Valve have worked with the community in the past. I don't see why that should change. It shouldn't change. And finally, the comic. Now this is not directly game related, but the comic deserves to be finished at the very least, even if it's just one final issue that wraps everything up. We need closure. Because the comic is beautiful. It's an amazing piece of media that desperately needs to be finished or continued, depending on where they want to go with it. I know it's not essential to the game's survival, but I think the community would really appreciate if the comic got fixed. Got fixed? Got finished. It's not like TF2 that needs to be fixed. <laughs> they could even do like a, a an issue with the bots. The bot plague, that'd be funny, wouldn't it? Or a storyline with that? I don't know. Anyway, so that has been my wish list of things I'd like to see done to TF2. Do I think they'll get done? Not at all. But I enjoy talking about these sort of things in regards to games I enjoy playing. And, you know, thinking about where they could take the game if they actually cared. I've been over the giant tree. I do hope they'll tackle this bot issue soon. But I do feel that when they do, they're just going to leave the game in the dirt. Um, so hopefully not. I wouldn't even be opposed to them giving it to a third party, as long as that third party has TF2's best interests at heart. Anyway, I've been over the giant tree. Please do like and subscribe. I'd like to hear your ideas of how you'd fix TF2 in the comments below. I think that'd be a fun little, uh, little experiment. And yeah, I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch came through, took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah, that wristwatch costs a hundred grand.